Elon Musk and Bill Gates just uh, made an announcement a few weeks ago that artificial intelligence is the biggest risk to the world in the coming few years. Guy Caspi is the CEO of Deep Instinct, the first company to apply deep learning to cybersecurity. Guy is a leading mathematician and a data scientist global expert. He joins us now on Cloud Moves TV. Guy, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Real pleasure to have you on. Hi, Emma. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So how can deploying artificial intelligence solutions inspired by the brain's ability to learn advance cybersecurity solutions? Well, as I said in my just presentation, the uh, deep learning is inspired by the brain uh, way of thinking. It's agnostic to data. And this is something very unique because in cybersecurity, most of the solution we have, they need to analyze every attack that we see and then they take the decision. So they are dealing only with what we name detection. So they know how to tell you, Emma, you are sick. But if you want something to be healthy or you need some uh, cure, it's not us. It's a different company. We are doing both and we are not providing you the ability to be sick. So we are giving some kind of uh, immunity to your body. So you are doing prevention in advance. So we are preventing the body of being sick. So it's totally different approach. Implementing artificial intelligence, providing the capability in the network not to be attacked, but to block the attack before it's coming. It's fascinating. Um, Guy, how accurate are deep learning AI technologies in detecting zero-day APT attacks and offering real-time protection? It's uh, first is the most accuracy results we see in the market. In the past two years, we see many independent tests, and Deep Instinct as a company was uh, by far number one. This was published all over the world. The results are running between 95 to 99 percent of detection and prevention, so it's quite high. Guy, how problematic is it if artificial intelligence is predicting human behavior? To predict human behavior, it's not that uh, complex. It sounds complex, but the, uh, the art of uh, deep learning, it's an art, it's not an, uh, just a mathematics, is dealing today with love, with uh, intelligence, with predictions of uh, couples, with many other uh, pieces of information, which sounds for a second very uh, weird, but if you have the right data, and you have the information, you can teach the brain anything you want. Guy, how much more advanced is AI going to become and should we all be striving to make artificial intelligence as intelligent as possible? It will become more and more popular. It will take time because the barrier of entry to this domain is very high. Elon Musk and Bill Gates just uh, made an announcement a few weeks ago that artificial intelligence is the biggest risk to the world in the coming few years because it will replace all the workforce in the world. We see systems today that can know better than doctors how to analyze x-ray uh, pictures. We will see more and more artificial intelligence coming into our life in the coming few years. It will change the world, no doubt. Do you think there should be a certain point we should say, OK, we don't want AI to get any more advanced than this point then? I don't know. I didn't solve this topic yet. <laughs> Fair enough. Guy, just one very last question. What would you say to those individuals who haven't been able to attend IP Expo today and are thinking of coming next year? What would you say to those people? I think that uh, cybersecurity is a very important session in this IP Expo. Expo. I saw the uh, exhibition uh, in the past what was here. I see that cybersecurity uh, getting more and more attention and I think that uh, all the CIOs, which this is the most common uh, people that are coming here, need to pay a big attention on cybersecurity because they can lose their chair with one single very simple cyber attack. Absolutely. Guy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. That's Guy Caspi. He's the CEO of Deep Instinct. Speaking to us here, I'm Emma Boyle and this is Cloud Moves TV.